All right, guys, today we are looking at a season 11 weapon. Yes, that's right. That's quite a long time ago. And currently, the only way to get this gun is if Zer sells it. And speaking of which, if Zer does happen to sell this weapon and it has a good role, I will be the one who will make a video and let you know about it. So if you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, do consider doing so. Turn on those notifications. And of course, hit that thumbs up button if you really want to show some support. And here is the role. It is ricochet rounds, killing wind, rampage, handling masterwork, also got polygonal rifling for extra stability killing wind and rampage together is insane you're getting so many benefits just by getting a single kill it's a high impact kinetic it's got 20 zoom it absolutely slaps my friends so let's get in there and see what it can do all right then let's get to business nice little clean kill with this gun it has a very very nice open sights one of the things i like a lot Got a little inquisitor slug shotgun action going there and uh, you can see for yourself this gun is really really clean and smooth gonna get a cheeky little ooh, it's a trade unfortunate and this guy's taking the wrong turn ooh, unfortunate his gps failed him that that you hate to see that you hate to see we killed the guy in a well that is pretty rare occurrence we got a double kill with tractor cannon and that is business as usual and yeah you can see here look at that that is disgusting this weapon has killing wind and rampage together so that basically is exotic tiers of synergy in my opinion because after getting a kill you're getting increased handling increased range increased movement speed and increased damage so that's a whole lot of buffs and you can see us here crouching in this cheeky little spot absolutely cheeky as it gets so you can see the range here we're hitting hard we didn't get the kill but we got them both very weak nice and easy for our teammates and here we get robbed that was not a headshot according to ae physically sick to be honest i'm i'm rapidly falling out love of football love that absolutely love that but we really do love that though look at the range on this thing i think the combination of the sight and the zoom so it has a very zoomed out like very clean mid-range sight but then it has 20 zoom and typically if a weapon has a uh, nice well 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 typically if a weapon has 20 zoom it has a very zoomed in sight this gun has the zoom but the sight doesn't really fit the criteria which is of course a very good thing and you're going to be very very surprised at the kind of ranges at which you can take someone out i mean look at that that sniper had to think twice and this donkey's gonna to have to think twice if he can come on huh you kidding me what what are you doing what are you doing and there's a little trade there is a weakness of the serpent type it doesn't do well with laggy situations these guys thought they were gonna 2v1 me in my bubble but well i guess they learned their lesson and yeah man this weapon it's just really really slept on now i did mention it this is not like the hazard of the cast i did a video on hazard of the cast the other day didn't i that is a sunset weapon you can't infuse it up to light level and it's unobtainable this is not sunset so if you have one you can infuse it up and you can use it in trials or any end game activity and uh, it is still obtainable but only by zer as far as i'm aware i'm pretty sure banshee doesn't have it in his inventory anymore and yeah i'm pretty sure zer is the only way you can get this thing unless maybe there is a chance he might be able to get this weapon in dares of eternity as well dares of eternity just constantly throws up different weapon types from different seasons this one being from season 11 so yeah look at that range guys look at that that's ridiculous for an ar like seriously like the big long midtown scout rifle lane and you're able to just plunk away at someone with this gun and it doesn't have the highest stability in the world but i think the, the sight carries man it's also got really really good recoil direction as well so you just don't have too much trouble trying to use this weapon now there's one other role i would recommend apart from this and that would be killing wind and zen moment and i swear i had that role killing wind zen moment role but maybe i sharded it at some point because i didn't actually have it when I looked up for my false promises, this is the only one that I had. And to be fair, it's a very, very good roll. You could argue it's a 5 out of 5 or a 4 out of 5 at least. The Killing Wind and Rampage together being absolutely brilliant. So overall, I think it's just a very, very good gun, mate. And uh, this lobby here, Ultra Flame, this was a pretty sweaty lobby. And uh, you'll see that most players in here were using meta weapons. Using, you know, Scout Rifle, DMT, No Time to Explain, or their own Hand Cannon Shoddy and you know generally they're all pretty solid very very sweaty lobbies in spmm and uh, i was surprised at the performance of this gun like it really can hang you do have to play smarter than you know your average player using the meta but it's it's really not that bad at all but that 20 zoom carries this gun quite a little bit like look at this 
We are just putting in work here. False promises, mate. Speaking of false promises, listen, my friends, we need a real promise from you guys. And that is to smash the like button if you are enjoying the video. Hey, got him with that one. Come on, that was good. Come on, that was good. Look at this guy peeking the lane. I don't think so, but this gun is disgusting. If you have a killing wind zen moment roll with really good, you know, magazine and all the other bells and whistles, let me know how it performs. I'm interested. I bet it would feel pretty good. I was really surprised at how good Zen Moment felt on the hazard of the cast. So I'm actually going to be looking in my inventory for any auto rifles I actually do have with Zen Moment. And uh, we might be doing a video on one of those soon because I'm starting to think Zen Moment on an auto rifle might be OP because that, that perk is based on, you know, accurate as you land shots. And obviously with an auto, you need to hit a lot of bullets. So there seems to be a lot of synergy there. So I might be taking a look at that. If you have any other sort of videos you want to see, any weapons, any recommendations do let me know in the comment section of course you know it's a pretty dry period for the game but you know that's not going to stop us from pumping out the content we do upload every day but you know i don't just upload for the sake of uploading i put a lot of blood sweat and tears into every single one of these videos so i really do hope you guys enjoy them like i enjoyed shoulder charging this disney princess in the back with his little wand thinking he's tough Speaking of which, though, this was one of the worst bubbles I've ever popped in my life. I just popped it in the middle of the whole team and I'm trying to get killed with an auto rifle and I have created literally nothing for myself. And then I get if I speak, I am in, in big trouble, in big trouble. Yeah, well, you know, you get what you deserve sometimes. You know, you get what you deserve. This is not always like yesterday's highlight reel. By the way, if you haven't seen yesterday's video, not just saying this, I think it's one of the best videos I've made in a while and I really, really am happy with that one. So if you haven't seen yesterday's video, go and check it out. Similarly, if you haven't seen the Hazard of the Cast video, I would recommend checking that out too because it is really, really good. And uh, yeah, you can see that this gun is also pretty damn solid if you ask me. Pretty damn solid. You know what I'm saying? I don't think so, bud. I don't think so. How to use a suppressor grenade? Well, go and watch yesterday's video for that one. And in this video, I think we can all just agree that the false promises, promises on its, uh, it delivers on its promises. I almost got that completely mixed up there, but listen, that might happen sometimes. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Anyway, that is the end of the match. It was a game of clash, 100 to 78. It was certainly not the easiest game of my life, but it wasn't the worst either. I'm curious to see how much we did. 31 defeats with a 3.44 hey i'll have to take that my friends hope you enjoyed it as always don't forget to leave a like drop a comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video